Matt Cooper is officially the new Barrel AFC head coach. Welcome back to another video on the channel by me, Baron Talk. Yes, I'm back with another video on the channel. In today's video, then, is a very, very exciting video as Mark Cooper has been announced as Barry FC head coach, the ex Forest Green manager, being sacked with about six games to go until he's got his fifth foot. Well, uh, 500 i think it was his 50th game as a uh, as well is his, his 50th year as a forest green rovers manager as he said in his uh, interview today but i am very very excited with this announcement he's also brought in uh, his old assistant manager with him from forest green in richard Dry uh, dryson ex well used to play uh uh, in the defensive department for Southampton when he was when he was playing football, but he'll have, he'll have a good structure at the back here, yeah, Richard uh, Richard Dryson and Mark Cooper. Mark Cooper is very very interested. He's got plans in mind already in investments into the club. Well, investments coming into the twenty twenty one slash twenty two season. But before we do get any further into what the deal has been said for him how long he's been staying uh, how long the contract is allowed him at the club please don't forget to smash the like on the video subscribe to the channel be massively appreciative good and let's get straight into speaking about mark cooper and richard dryson's appointment at the bluebirds so one hour ago this is what the club had posted about Mark Cooper appointment as Barrow's head coach. Barrow AFC is delighted to confirm the appointment of Mark Cooper as the club's new first team manage manager. Cooper has signed a three year deal with the Bluebirds and he can and he and has named Richard Dryden as his assistant manager as the progress at the progression to the stadium. The fifty two year old brings a wealth of experience to the role after have to rule having managed over 400 games at the EFL level during the spells at Peterborough United, Swindon Town, Notts County and Forest Green Rovers. Cooper's most recent assignment at Forest Greens saw him spend five years in the hot seat, clinching an his historic promotion to League 2 during his first season in charge of the club. He went on to help Gloucestershire outfit uh, East Bear themselves at the higher level before taking them to the very brink of automatic promotion to League One during the 2018-19 after they were suffered playoff heartbreak. I have five years at one club and now I am really looking forward to the new challenge here at Barrow Keeper Tools. The board and the owners have done everything that they could try to and get me they made it clear that they wanted me and they were and they want to try and it involved to make Barrow a strong force in these two. One of the biggest things we're looking forward to is seeing fans back in the stadium because it is a really hostile environment when they are there. I know they'll be upset to uh, be desperate to get back in regular and get behind the lights in the football league or for the first time in nearly fifty years. We we have just we have to use that support to get the fans behind us and engage with them. I think they will love the way that we are going to play. So I am looking forward to seeing the players rocking and make it an intimidating atmosphere for the uh, for the opponent. That is what Mark Cooper said to the club. I am very very happy there of what he's just said. It is up to put on a show. 
is up for the fight and the challenge. Three years at the Bluebird, unless he gets sacked by any particular reason. But I think he'll be careful here at um, Barrow. If the uh, owners allow him to invest, give him the time and stuff like that, I think we could go on a decent looking, decent run at the start of the season. I just can't wait now to get back to Holker Street. The, the fix just to be announced to see who we play in our first game of the 2020, the 2020, well, the 2021-22 season at Holker Street, our first home game. Fans in there singing their hearts out, getting behind Mark Cooper, getting behind Richard Dryson, getting behind the lads, getting behind the new lads that uh, Mark Cooper brings to the club. But I am very, very excited to see what Mark Cooper has been. There was rumours that it was going to happen, but it, it's been a while. It took some time to get it over the line, but there have been rumours that he has agreed to sign for the Bluebirds, and we find out today that he has put pen to paper and has signed a three-year deal at the Bluebirds. There's not much else I could really say apart from I'm ecstatic to see that it has been put over the line. I've never really seen Mark Cooper, apart from when we uh, played him at home when uh, last season when Barrow got a 2-2 draw against them. He said he's very, very ha he was very, very excited to see how we, uh, well, he was happy the way we played in that. So hopefully he can adapt to that playing style that Rob Kelly and David Dunn played with us last season. And hopefully we can have a promising 20 slash 20 uh, 20 21 slash 22 season here at the pro at the progress and solicitor stadium but there's nothing else that i really could say apart from if you have enjoyed this video you know what to do smash like on it subscribe to the channel be massively appreciated good and we will see you from the real very very soon and hopefully it'll be a transfer news video where mark cooper announced a few signings for his men. Thanks for watching and